Hey everyone, it's Colin with Legalize Mr. Productions. Thank you for joining me and welcome. Today I'm going to be demonstrating uh, how I paint black. And this is a recipe that I use for hard black, like armor, and um, like a true black. If you want something to register as just black, 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 black. Um, a very dark black. This isn't going super high on the highlights to show a bunch of contrast. Um, this is, if you want something to register as black, uh, this is the recipe that I use. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, first thing I do is I do, I prime it black, obviously, and then I give a base coat of Vallejo model color black, just so if we have to go back and touch anything up, it's the same, it's the same color. Uh, as the rest of the model uh, versus just doing it over black primer um, which would be a lot harder which would be a lot harder to touch up so give it a coat of the Vallejo model color black and then to do the highlight and we're only doing one highlight on this um, I'll show you can you can do it um, a little bit different way but um, I prefer just to do one one highlight we're going to use uh, Vallejo model color black gray and this is a really dark as you can imagine this is a very dark gray one of the things about this recipe is um, it's not using you know like a blue gray or a warm gray to get some kind of variation in the tone uh, of the gray. This is just a true dark gray, period. Um, we're not getting super fancy with this, and this is going to give you a very, a very dark true black. So first things first, we do the highlights. So for something like Raven Guard, this would be really perfect. Uh, black Templars uh, would also work really well. Brush. So just like we follow the regular highlights like we do on Space Marines, so front of the shoulder, front of the helmet, top of the backpack, front of the shoulder, top of the arm, hand, top of the knee, top of the feet. So you see there is a highlight there, but it's very, very subtle. Um, you don't want you don't want to overdo this highlight because it can turn the model gray really fast. But that is pretty much it. I would say I even went a little heavy on the on the arm there because that's looking a little bit more gray. But overall, you know that's still looking. And you can always, the nice thing about painting black is you can always go back. So like we can go back with that Vallejo model color black and get it very, very thin like a glaze. Oh, I put my water pot too far away. Okay. And if you feel like you went too far, um, like that's a little gray for me. So we're going to take this black glaze and we're just going to hit, hit underneath that. And it's not going to, whoops, that's okay. So once that dries, it's still gray, but you see it toned it down a little bit. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm going for there. So a little bit there, back of the helmet, bottom of the backpack. And this is a good technique to get into the practice of doing. So like this mid, middle of his uh, armor there. So this is a great technique to go back and kind of not erase the, the mid-tone, but just kind of reinforce, reinforce the shadows. Like we definitely want to get the shoulder pad. And it just turns it back to a more... But you see that the arm looks better 
This shoulder looks a little light, so we can go back, hit it with some of that black. And this is very, very thin, as you can see. That is not, that is not thick at all. So give it a couple glazes, knock everything back down a little bit. That's looking a little bit more black than it was before, but you can still see the highlights on the armor there. So that's exactly what we want. And that little glazing technique is so helpful because, I, you know, usually sometimes the mids can get a little out of hand or the uh, highlights. So I'll go back and I'll just do a little quick glaze instead of kind of starting over. Um, I'll go back and I'll do just a little glaze um, of the mid-tone or the shadow. It's usually the shadow. Um, and kind of reestablish those on the model. So it's a really helpful, really helpful technique and it saves a lot of uh, time and effort and it puts a little less pressure to do it perfectly the first time, um, to really just nail everything perfectly the first time. Which of course is the goal, but you know, it's painting. So <laughs> it's not gonna happen every time. Uh, and then for the highlight, what we're gonna use is Vallejo Game Color somber gray this is a very blue gray this is like um i don't know if it's rust gray or fenrisian gray whichever the middle one is um so we are using a more blue gray for the highlight and that's fine even though we didn't do really any color so far on the on the black itself uh using Using the blue gray is going to inject a little bit of that, a little bit of that color into. Ooh, I don't know how that brush snuck into my decent brush section, but it was not not supposed to be there. Look at this one. Ooh. That worked. So we're using this somber gray. We're thinning it out. Where we want to use really, really, really thin, uh, maybe maybe just one really. We want to use really thin paint for our edge highlights, so we get a nice sharp line. Um, you can see how thin. Oops, excuse me. You can see how thin that is. And I won't highlight the whole model, but I'll do enough that you can see kind of the effect that this has. And it may look a little light right now, but once it dries, it does chill out a little bit. But we do want we do want a nice highlight on this. We do want to accentuate the armor panels and everything. If you feel like that's, oops, that's not what we wanted. So, and because we're working so thin, we can just get a little water and we can get that off of there. Oof, that was a little chunky. That's okay. And we'll do the helmet. And 
again, very thin on the gray because we don't want we don't want like big chunky gray highlights on this. We want it to be a little bit a little bit transparent um, so it doesn't dry like totally saturated on that gray. Nope. Oh, as I put a giant highlight on this eyebrow helmet area. Okay, I'm moving a little fast on that one. But we can always take, nice thing about painting black, is it's super easy to correct our mistakes because we can just pin down some black, go back, and just knock that, knock that brow highlight down there. And like this one is not, not great. And then, so that's looking pretty good. That is a true black. You know, if that, if you feel like that's a little too light on the highlight, then you can always just mix a little bit of black into that somber gray. And it gives you a very dark, but I'll show you what that does. So you don't get, you don't get nearly as much, it shows up less, which is great, but you don't get nearly as much kind of differentiation with the, with the actual highlight. Um, so this is with a little bit more somber gray. So you can, and this isn't true somber gray. This is with just a little bit of black mixed in. So you can play with that a little bit. I just go with the pure somber gray. Um, So you can see there it's a little less but it's still it's still showing up I don't know I mean mileage may vary I'm not sure if it's really worth all the extra effort of going through and kind of diluting them down because once not diluting but mixing it with the black because once you get once you get to a certain point um, it's just not going to do the job that you want it to do so you can see that mix like really isn't that much lighter or darker than the than the toe and if we go much more darker than that we're really going to have we're really going to have an issue with uh with differentiating the plates like we did back here then it just doesn't show up at all so i really like that somber gray i think it's great i think it looks good it looks clean um And that was not the best highlight I've ever done in my life, but but it looks good and it looks black is the thing. So this looks like a black marine, even with those highlights, you know, popping out like that. So that's what I use for kind of a true black, soft black armor for the gun and um, little hard. Um, bolter casings and you know little cases and just anything that is solid and that I want to be black bolter bolter casings are a great example because this is how I paint all my black bolter casings and it's going to be a little bit different uh, I'm using a Vallejo model color I know that the labels all messed up but Vallejo model color intermediate blue or Azul Americano, uh, American blue. So, and this is, I just base coated it with the model color black with a brush. And of course all the metallic elements and everything would be painted, but um, for the purpose of this recipe, and this really is the, the easiest recipe because it's literally two colors. 
And sometimes that's enough. I mean, sometimes you don't have to get super crazy with, uh, with a paint recipe or a paint scheme. If something looks good with just a couple colors, but they're applied well, and like the, apply, the, the highlights are done well, the highlights are focused, they're in the right spot, then you know you can get a lot of mileage out of some very simple some very simple techniques so that's with the intermediate blue on the gun and you can see it is different from the somber gray highlight it's a little harder it's a little it's not quite that white i think the contrast is kind of throwing it off on the camera um i'll post a pic when i post the video but so that's two different blacks um kind of a hard black for a soft black like leather um, I'll do another video because uh, there's a couple different ways to do that as well. But I really like this scheme. I think it's really good. Um, and if, you know, you feel like you want to tone down those highlights a little bit, you can take something like Secret Weapons Heavy Body Black. This stuff is really good. This is a black glaze, basically. It's not a wash. Like, no oil won't really do anything for you here um, just because it's too transparent. Secret Weapon made these great glazes, so you can see like how thin those are, but they're saturated. So if you wanted to, you could go back in with a very, very thin, very, very thin glaze of this heavy body black. And you can see how thin that is. It's like totally transparent. But you could go in with the heavy body black and just kind of hit those, hit those panels. And it'll knock down, and wait for that to dry. So that's with the glaze on there. And it knocks down, it knocks down those highlights, the somber gray. But for me, that might be a little that might be a little too subtle. You might not be able to differentiate that enough, in my opinion. But it does look good. I mean, that is a true black. I'm looking specifically at his arm now. You know, that is a true black um, with a nice highlight. The glaze is gonna knock down the gray a little bit, but still, it's an option. You know, if you paint it, you find like, ooh, that's sticking out a little too much. Uh, you can always take that heavy body black or like a true black ink, not a wash, not like no oil. It's not going to do anything. Um, but like a black ink or like Secret Weapons Black Glaze, and you can always just glaze that panel um, or glaze the highlights and knock them down a little bit. So black armor, black gun casing, and that's how I paint black. Or that's two, two ways that I paint black. I have a bunch more, but... Uh, we'll get to those. <laughs> so uh, thanks. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. And uh, let's move on to the next color. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.